What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we're going to go through an issue which I'm having with Luma Fusion and uh, this is an issue which uh, should be fixed uh, many years ago. Now this issue is uh, audio, sound effects and the video syncing together once you do a playback on your timeline. Now you may not have or you may have or you will most likely you will or most likely you have 100% of you will have and have had experienced this issue and that is actually when you do a playback on your timeline and you have the sound coming before the actual sound being there for some reason and this is something that I experienced long before 2.0 and it's like been there forever but I kind of found myself a, a workaround to fix this on the spot. And imagine this, I make videos in LumaFusion every single day for many hours. And I do approximately 100 playbacks, if not more, every single day. And imagine that every third playback has a delay. And imagine that the time of or the lost time or the time wasted by going into fixing this on every third playback. So that's a huge time waste. And I know I made a lot of videos when it comes to workflow and how to speed up your workflow. Now this has been a pain in the butt the past couple of weeks actually because I've been working a lot with sound effects and this also happens when you are just having audio to your timeline. And I, I beg you, Luma Touch, drop everything that you are working on to fix this issue. I know that you are working on some pretty awesome stuff, which is coming soon. And I am so excited to see those things. And I know for sure that the rest of the Luma Fusion community will be amazed to see what you guys are putting out there, which is coming soon. Anyway, I really want you to drop everything and fix the audio issue. Now, we're going to go through the issue in this video, how to fix it, how to work around and all of that. So, and also at the later in this video, we're going to go through, uh, or I have a tip for you on how to get the most out of your kind of, or how to make effects and, and the color grading, how to kind of, do that in the best possible way how to there's a there's a workflow tip in here as well you know but for 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 now let's get over to the ipad so we can go through the process of fixing this painful issue where the audio is out of sync when you are doing a playback it's so annoying let's get into it <laughs> Once we get over to Luma Fusion here and over to the timeline, I'm going to show you what I mean about the audio and the sound effects and the videos being out of sync. Now, if you ask me, this is something that you should not need to fix by yourself. And this is a huge problem for me as I'm editing in Luma Fusion every single day. Now, I experienced this long before Luma Fusion 2.0. 0 update so this should actually be their main focus on fixing. Now let me show you how this is bugged, how to fix it and how easy that is to fix once you are working on your project. Now as you can see the project here is fairly small we have a project of 40 seconds and uh, the preview is set to around I think it's fastest or maybe it's best but it doesn't matter you should have no issues with 1080p footage. Now the only thing I changed here um, in addition to the timeline is the audio here. Now I dropped the audio of the music so you can better hear the sound effect. I can push those back to normal here so it's easier for you to hear as well. Now I reckon on the second playback here we will have the sound effect out of sync. So let's go on and do a playback.
Now, as you could hear and see, the audio, the sound effect was really, really out of sync by one to two seconds. And this is not really something that we should accept. And this should actually be fixed a long time ago. However, this is really simple to fix. But again, you should not be needing to fix this as you play with your video, as you do a playbacks and, uh, um, and adjust things on your timeline. It seems to occur once you are applying some sort of effects. It doesn't have to be a lot of effects. Here on the timeline, I have a zoom transition here, which is the target zoom, which is also available on rubbishgiblogs.com. And I have the same target zoom here. And I have the same sort of target zoom here as well. This is just going out. And I have raw cuts here. And at the end here, I have a target zoom coming into the statue. So that's basically the effects I have on the timeline, except for the color grading. Now, as you could hear, the audio was out of sync. But the fastest way to fix this is actually to go over to settings on the bottom right, over to preferences, over to advanced settings and preview and change the preview from whatever you have selected to any of the other three. Now we're going to go on and select the fastest one. We're going to do another playback and now everything should be back to normal. Now, if we do another playback here, I think we should have everything out of sync again. Now, spot on, let's do another one. So there we have it out of sync again. So again, over to settings, preferences and advanced settings and then preview and change the preview to let's say good. Now we're going to do another playback. And this sound effects is spot on. Now the reason why I wanted to show you this is simply because I have had so much pain with the audio and especially the sound effects matching the uh, different uh, effects which I have on the timeline here and this has basically been my only way to adjust this and correct it and get it basically back to normal by going into advanced settings and changing the preview from good to best to balance to fastest uh, but in my opinion you should not be able or you should not need to I mean to correct this every time you edit in Luma Fusion. This should not be an issue at all. And this should have been fixed many, many years ago. And for me, which is editing every single day in Luma Fusion, this is now starting to be a huge problem for my editing workflow. Now, the reason why this is a problem for my workflow is that I use sound effects for every single video or preview I put together in Lima Fusion, whether it's for YouTube, Instagram, or any other social media platform, or if it's for the masterclass, I always experience issues with the audio. Even though this is a quick fix for me, and I kind of added this type of changes here to my workflow, I shouldn't be needing to waste my time on correcting this. Now, let me know in the comment section if you have had any issues with the audio and let me know if this actually helped you as well by fixing the delay between the sound effects or the audio, depending on whether you do raw cuts matching the audio or if you apply sound effects to effects you have applied as well. Now, at the end here, I really want to give a, a bonus tip when it comes to your workflow, and that is to edit all the time. I think I mentioned this in the LumaFusion Masterclass course for about a year ago or something when we first started, and that is to always edit in the preview fastest. Now, the reason why you want to edit in the preview fastest and then change according to the delay that you might have is simply because all the effects and all your like your preview here, you, have, you will have a smoother preview of your video. 
uh, even though you can uh, apply multiple 4K um, footage, you can apply a lot of sound effects and color grading effects and, and so on, you will have a smoother playback here on the previous screen if you go for the fastest. Now, the crucial part is to change to the best when you are going to apply some sort of blur or color grade your footage because it's hard to see the color changes in the image and if they are accurate or not if you are working with the fastest preview mode here. So this is quite low resolution compared to the high and this is especially noticeable when you are making or adding effects. Now let me show you an example here. Now as you can see here on this clip we have some sort of a small blur here on each side. Now this is because everything is set to fastest. Now if we change this, but first actually I'm going to show you a different way. Now this is a, has a small blur. So let's say we have a zoom effect here and this is a little bit too, uh, too well we, we need, we need more zoom, right? So what I'm going to do is to change this up to around eight. So now we have the perfect amount of, uh, of blur to the zoom. Now let's say this is a mid zoom, so it's right about to transition into the next clip right here. Now, if you export this, it's not gonna look like this because you are in the fastest preview mode. What it's gonna look like is actually, let's say here, we go over to best, actually gonna look like this. Now this is way too much. And as you can see the difference here between the best and the fastest. So as we have here the best, we're moving back to fastest, it's more than half of the zoom. So what we're gonna do is to go over to the best, we're then gonna go into edit and we're gonna adjust the amount of zoom here. So let's say we want something like that, which is looking quite decent. So this is uh, approximately the zoom amount you want for, or the zoom blur you want for your, your zoom transition. So around 1.3. Now, if we go out here, it looks very, very good. Now, if we change this again from the best over to fastest, you're barely gonna see the effect. There is no indication of an effect being added. So the crucial part is to work with the fastest preview mode here until you finished all of your clips on your timeline syncing to the audio. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna apply effects and color grading. Then once everything is finished here on the timeline, you have a full edit finished. You apply the effects and the keyframes and so on. And you're gonna start applying color grading and the zoom blur or just blur in general. Then you wanna go over to settings here, preferences, and change this over to best. Now, once you change this to best, you can now easily make a more accurate color grading to your um, footage. And you can add more spot on effects like blur, which is going to look the exact same way now as it will in the uh, render. So with that said, there you have a quick, super easy fix to uh, the audio syncing problems that you might have. Now, once you apply videos and audio to your timeline and you really want the, you want, you know, the spikes of the audio is where you want to cut your clips. Now, if this is not matching as you do a playback, you might have issues by getting it correct and you might have to go back and forth and I reckon you're gonna waste a lot of time. And if you do this every single day, like me, you're gonna waste, at, at some point you're gonna waste hours and it's so annoying. So please, please just fix this issue. It's the most important thing that you can fix right now. Audio being out of sync, audio not being properly, yeah. I, I didn't know where I was going with that sentence, but audio not being good is uh, is not is not good, and yeah. So syncing audio with like syncing audio and the timeline and the videos and the sound effects, all of those things has to match. That's the main issue that you guys need to fix right now before you proceed on those awesome effects, which is coming soon. 
yeah. So with that said, I really hope that you uh, enjoyed this video as well. Let me know in the comment section below what you have experienced with LumaFusion. Are you experiencing or have you experienced the same type of issue as I was showing you in this video? Or is there anything else that you want me to check out in case I can force uh, a bug on it or I don't know if that's the correct word. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below if you have any bad issues with Luma Fusion. I must say this is the only issue that I have been struggling with for the past year. Now, this is the only thing. So that means Luma Touch is actually doing a really, really good job. So yeah. And with that said, thank you for watching and uh, I see you in the next video.